today we're gonna be locking the brand new power of blue eyes white dragon for the 2022 new forbidden and limitless without further ado blue eyes unlock kaiba here we go What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam Rex. When you're happy, Sunday! Ash from the Underworld playmat is now available in hollow form. Hollow series, limited edition at TX1.com. Only 300 of these are available. They are available right now at TX1.com, but do not worry. If they're sold out, you guys can still get the Deluxe Stitch Edition playmat, which is going to be available until October 31st of this year as part of the Halloween 22 collection. So, guys, be sure to get your playmats today. Hollow Series playmat, Deluxe Edition playmat, whatever you guys would like. You know what I'm saying? Get it today in the link down below, TX1.com. Be sure to get a Hollow Series playmat if you guys haven't got already. And for those of you who support the channel and got all the Hollow Series playmat, I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, in today's video, we'll be unlocking the brand new Power Blue Eyes White Dragon with the brand new Bandless Chris Strong Hockey Fire Rex got banned. Let me tell you, it did hurt my heart. And also, Chaotic Ruler got banned. It also destroyed and shattered my life. Chaotic Ruler and Chris Strong Hockey Fire Rex were the two most integral combo pieces that I've created when it comes to playing Blue Eyes. You guys saw we innovated Blue Eyes with Punks and Chaos Space, and of course with Hockey Fibrax, with the Baron, with the Formula, with the Scythe. There are so many cool ways to play uh, the deck, but with Hawk being banned and Chaos Ruler being banned, it eliminates the Punk Engine. Don't play Punk Blue Eyes. If you're playing Punk Blue Eyes, might as well play Pure Punks. Like, it's just way better. But today's version with the brand new Dark Wing Blast, you guys already know, this deck is so much stronger with the brand new Dragon Support that we got. The Card for Card Tier Zero Blue Eyes decklist that's gonna help you win games. And you see, and I've been crafting this deck. We've been in the lab crafting. And in the end of the video, I'll show you guys a test hand to demonstrate how powerful this deck actually is. Let's unlock the brand new power of Blue Eyes by Dragon. Let's begin. All right, guys, welcome to the Blue Eyes deck profile. This is the best variation, Tier One Blue Eyes. 100,000%. So first off, some of the Blue Eyes monsters, double copies of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yes, two is all you need, guys. Especially in this variation, two is all you need. And you cycle through this often, you know what I'm saying? Like, you kind of just want to search Blue Eyes rather than seeing too many copies of this card in your hand. And, you know, Melody always gets access to this card. And also the White Stone also get access to this card as well. So two Blue Eyes, one alternative. I know, I know. It's weird. Usually it's three, two. Okay, guys? But this is a variation of combo Blue Eyes which you guys are going to get used to in this uh, in today's format if you guys want to actually win with Blue Eyes right here. So one alternative, always recyclable as well, using the White Stone Ancient is really good. The Blue Eyes Jet, uh, which is amazing, guys. Great recursion, by the way. So once you have this in the graveyard, you pretty much have constant recursion uh, with Jet, which is really, really good. And last but not least, the one Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Really great card. Uh, when it's summoned, uh, you basically during the end phase, you search a follow-up, which is really, really good. Uh, so this dragon is really nice. So that's pretty much it. The big blue eyes that you're playing the deck. Really great utility cards right here, especially Jet and the blue eyes of this dragon. But obviously these cards are just the bread and butter uh, of the entire deck. It obviously helps you get access to Spear Dragon and also at the same time helps you get access to rank 8 Xyz, right? Uh, which is really good. So that's pretty much it. Your big boy blue eyes monsters. Uh, next off, of course, the triple copies of the D. You know, obviously D is very important. It's a free summon. It dumps blue eyes directly from your deck to the graveyard uh, for absolutely free, just like Magician Souls. Also has a great monster reborn effect to reborn back any blue eyes monster uh, from your graveyard, which is really great. So um, this card is just so, so good. One of the best extenders uh, in the entire deck. This is Sage's combo. Uh, next off, of course, triple copies with Sage with eyes of blue. Obviously, really good card right here. Help search your uh, light tuna monsters directly from your deck to your hand, especially the White Stone Ancients and also the White Stone Legends. So Triple copies of Sage Eyes of Blue. Great tuner in the deck. Next off for your stones. I'm going to play two copies of White Stone Ancients and one copy of the White Stone Legend to run off for all the level one tuner that you're playing in the deck. Card, obviously, especially in the Blue Eyes during the end phase, especially getting access to Jet, is also really, really good. And the fact that the White Stone, when it's sent to the Weaver, it searches Blue Eyes directly from your deck to your hand, is also really great as well. So that's pretty much what we're on off all the stones you're playing in the deck. Next off for your big level eight monsters, you're going to play, of course, Chaos Dragon, Emperor. Armageddon, absolutely amazing. It's searchable. Uh, off Melody Awakening Dragon. Same thing with Chaos Dragon Living to help break boards and also one of the best extenders uh, in your entire deck. And last but not least, you want to play on Black Dragon. Uh, of course, the free extenders, really easily searchable off Chaos Space. One White Dragon, Wyvern Buster. And last but not least, you want to play the Star Leech Cypher uh, to run off for all the Chaos Monsters uh, that you're playing in the deck. So that's pretty much it for your generic standard Chaos Monsters that you guys are used to seeing. Kind of similar to my Punk one that I actually played earlier. But obviously, with Needle Fire being banned, it does hurt the deck a lot. But we have a new engine in today's metagame, guys. This engine is oh, ridiculous, guys. You shall see a scene. Helping you build the best Blue Eyes deck. You're playing the Bisted, guys. 
Uh, first, we'll play triple copies of the Bestial Lubelion. Uh, this card is friggin' phenomenal in blue eyes. The reason why this card is good, number one, Tommy Normal Summoner said must first be special from your hand uh, by tributing one level six or higher Dark Dragon Monster. You can only special summon the Bestial Lubelion once per turn this way. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Add one Bestial Monster from your deck to your hand, except for the Bestial Lubelion. During your main phase, you can place one branded continuous spell or trap from your deck face up on your field. So this card literally gets you access to an interruption for absolutely free. And it's also one of the main outs to Mystic Mine. And it's also level eight monster helps get access to rank eight it sees monster, uh, which is insane. Like the Bistio engine is just like one of the best engines ever. Uh, uh, it complements Blue Eyes really, really well. So triple copies, of course, uh, Bistio Lubelion, absolutely necessary to play in the deck. I'll showcase you guys a test hand with this uh, near the end of the video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Next, we're going to play, of course, triple copies of Bistio uh, Magnamut. It's the Skarm for the deck. It's a DD Crow. The reason why Bestials are so good is because DD Crow, especially in a tier elements heavy format, Blue Eyes destroys tier elements. Why? Spirit Dragon negates Grave Artifacts. These cards literally negate Grave Artifacts. Literally, they cannot fusion. Like Bestio Magnum, GG. You know what I'm saying? Like any Bestio monster, DD Crow, their monsters, GG. And it's also 2500 Beat Stick, uh, which is absolutely amazing. It's also level 6 monster, which will showcase you guys the XC's monster you're playing in the deck, which complements level 6 monsters really, really well. So, triple copies of Magnum, really, really insane. You know, play of course the one uh dream worm okay uh drain or something <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce his name and last but not least double copies of bestio Solarnir. uh this card right here is foolish burial for the deck uh which is absolutely phenomenal so if this card sent to the graveyard you can send one bestial monster or one branded spore trap from deck to the graveyard which is absolutely phenomenal so bestial Solarnir, absolutely insane this will pretty much round off for your bistin monsters and having them in your hand is really good because they are dd crows for the deck Next off, your searchers, of course, triple copies of Melody, the Awakening Dragons. Once I showcase you guys a test hand on what this deck is capable of, you guys will truly understand how powerful uh, this deck is. So Melody is insane. Uh, triple copy of uh, Chaos Space. Um, it searches Lubelion, which is really, really good. Lubelion is so good in this deck. Also searches your small baby dragons, which is really, really amazing. And uh, last but not least, of course, you know, your more research cards, triple copies, prosperity. Uh, you want to see combo almost 100% of the time. Like, you want to be able to combo with this deck always right so prosperity helps guarantee that uh that's why i love this over trade in and last but not least of course the utility card called by the grave to ensure that your combos goes through and last but not least one branded beast and one branded regained so what do these cards do so regained so if a light or dark monsters banish except during damage type because target one of those monsters place that monster on the bottom of the deck and you draw one card so it's kind of similar to chaos space you only use the effect of branded regain once per turn once per turn if your opponent normal summons are special to the monster Except during the damage set, you can try one Bestial monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So it's a free uh, summon, which is really, really good. And Branded Beast. So once per turn during the main phase, if you control a Bestial monster, you can tribute one Dragon monster, which is the tribute, uh, which is the Bestial, then target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. During the end phase, you can target one Branded Continuous Spell Trap card in your graveyard, place a face up on your field. So you're going to be basically dumping this to the graveyard using, uh, of course, the Sorinir. And then use Branding Beast when you set it using Lubelion's effect to basically reset this card from your graveyard, uh, which is amazing. So this card is just so, so good, right? And it's your main out to Mystic Mine. You have a, you can easily search this card with Lubelion, right? Like, this card is your main deck out to Mystic Mine, which is absolutely amazing. So Mine does not kill this deck whatsoever. For now, if you actually going to play the one Blue-Eyed Spirit Dragon, this card is insane, especially against Pendulums. Uh, this card wrecks pendulums. It's literally three interruptions built in one. Graveyard in the gate, your opponent can pendulum summon, and it also tags onto Moonlight, which is like three interruptions already built in one card. So in today's format, tier elements, good luck beating Blue Eyes, uh, Spear Dragon, baby. I love Spear Dragon. Azure Eyes, really good for OTKs. And last but not least, one Black Rose, Moonlight Dragon to run off for all the synchros you're playing in the deck. For your XCs, Zeus, especially combining itself off with uh, Ningursu is also really, really insane. And last but not least, one Hole Parbinger is the last final rank eight XC's monster that you're playing in the deck. And uh, yeah, and the best XC's monster to pair off with the Bestials is Heretic Dragon of King of Tomb. Uh, this card's insane. Uh, it gets you access to Safer directly from the deck, which is really, really good. And two level six dragons help you make this and you win the duel, right? Uh, this card's insane. One Deco Talker, one Selene, because uh, of course, Dictator can easily make this. Also at the same time, like the Charmers as well, right? Which is really, really good. So Charmer, Selene, Access Code, Game, help break boards. Uh, Unicorn, obviously, Heretic Seal. Really good dragon uh, for bounce interruptions. One IP Mascarena, IP Unicorn, absolutely game. And last but not least, one Link Rebo. You can also play Relinquish Anima as well. And last but not least, you're playing the Striker Dragon to make your babies turn into this, which is uh, really, really good. So that pretty much rounds off 
uh, for your main deck. Let's go out with a test hand with this deck. I want to show these guys out what this deck is capable of. This deck is insane. Guys, this deck is absolutely insane. But before we begin, guys, if you guys haven't gone, your Ash from the Underworld Limited Edition playmat. Guys, remember, once they're gone, they are gone forever. All right, guys, I dropped this on Friday, so I don't know if it's sold out yet. But if it's sold out, the Deluxe Edition will be only available until October 31st. So, guys, if you guys haven't gotten your Hollow Edition playmat yet, make sure you guys get it today in the link down below at TX1.com. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your support. This is 2022 Halloween release, guys. You guys already know. You guys look at the website right now. All my Hollow Series playmat have been sold out, and they'll never be restocked. So, guys, be sure to be part of TX1 history today. Ask your opponent to nicely cut. But here we go. All right, guys. Tap the deck for good luck. All right. So we open up with the Bestial Lubellion. All right. Bestial Sorenir. All right. What else? We got, of course, Bestial Druin's Worm. All right. Melody Awakening Dragons. Okay. And what are we opening next? Sage. Wow. <laughs> Hold up. This hand. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> Hold up. Give me a second. First and foremost, we're a normal summon Sage. Okay, guys, I, th I think we got this. Activate Sage's effect. Uh, let me see. We're going to search. White Stone Legend. Our deck to our hand. Then we're going to activate Melody of the Awakening Dragons. Send White Stone Legend to the grave. Okay, you're going to add Alternative. Okay, and you're going to add Chaos Emperor Dragon. I think this is right. Or, or we can get Levy in here. What up? No, 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 I think this is fine. Uh, resolution activate the white stone legend we're gonna add blue eyes white dragon from our deck to our hand now what we're gonna do is that you're gonna reveal blue eyes white dragon to special and blue eyes alternative uh, from your hand our deck this is our hand i'm gonna basically synchro these two to the grave make blue eyes spear dragon and make spear dragon right here now what you do next it's very simple now your next is very simple you are going to activate your Bistio Lubellion. This card is amazing. Uh, you guys... Okay, so, so, so far, so, so far you have two names in your hand. You have Lubellion, so you can send... Send Lubellion to the grave. Get the third name from our deck. Where's the third name? Third name. Okay. This is your hand. This is your situation right now. Now what you want to do is that you want to actually activate your Bistio Sorinir. What up? Banish your alternative from your graveyard. Okay, to summon Cernir. And now you next you're gonna activate your Lubellion. Okay, you're gonna tribute your Bistio Sorenir. Tribute it. Now this effect is gonna trigger off. You are gonna send the Brandon Regain to the graveyard. Uh, which is really, really good. And now you're gonna activate your Bistio Lubellion's effect. You are gonna activate Branded Beast in your spell and trap card zone. Uh, which is really really good so now what you do next is that you're going to actually summon your bestial magnum boot banish a light from your grave banish sage from your grave summon magnum boot activate magnum boot's effect to search during the end phase uh, which is really really good and now you can actually banish a dark you can banish the bestial sorenir targeted the grave to special summon of course your bestial dream worm Okay, which is absolutely amazing now what you do next is that you're gonna use okay sorry guys give me a sec these two level six we can make a tomb okay yeah attach material you're gonna activate a tomb's effect i uh, summon safer from the deck safer is insane okay summon safer from the deck really good okay and now you activate safer to send blue eyes to the grave Okay, you are going to search your Chaos Dragon Levineer. Your deck to your hand. Is your hand is your situation right now. Guys, this board is going to be insane. Hold up. Um, use these two. Wait a second, guys. Make Hieratic Seal. That's your fourth interruption, kind of. Alright, Seal. Yeah, this is perfect. You can actually activate your Chaos Ember Dragon effect. Be a thousand. You can add this to your hand, so it becomes a DD Crow. And uh, it's in your hand, which is really good. This will destroy itself, uh, which is really great. Now what you do next is that you're going to summon Chaos Dragon Levianir. 
Banish three light. One. Two. Three. This is kind of bad because you have to banish your blue eyes from your graveyard. Uh, but banish these three lights. Yeah, I think it's okay. Let's come back. Save for it. Doesn't matter. And overlay these. Send these two. Come and save for it. I think these. I don't know about this. This could be your board right here. So this is two interruptions. If you're playing a pendulum, it's three. Uh, four, five. Uh, six interruptions right here with this. So this end board right now is six interruptions. And you can also like just like banish this from the graveyard. To add Chaos Dragon Levy near back to your hand for the follow-up uh, as well. Which is good. There's already like a, this is a lot of interruptions already, right? So, so it's Spirit Bounce, Moonlight, uh, Pendulum Lock. Spirit, so it's Griever in the gate, Pendulum, Griever in the gate, Bounce, Pendulum Lock, Beast, Branded Beast, Pop this, Branded Beast, Pop this, it's four interruptions, five interruptions, Hierarch Seal, when you bounce it back, summons a monster, IP, six interruptions, and of course, Bistio, Serenier, seven interruptions, right? It's already seven interruptions, this is pretty good, okay? But what you can do even more if you're greedy, just manage safer it. And uh, banish the Levian here. Banish the Safer, banish, of course, the Magnemoot. Okay. Summon Chaos Dragon. And then you overlay these for Titanic Galaxy. Ugh. Honestly, guys, I, I, the, the main thing is I like follow ups. That's, that's the most. Um, yeah, so yeah, you overlay for these. Then end phase, since you already activated your end phase, you're going to activate this effect. So you can target one brand is near your spell trap and greater place face up. So you're going to place this face up. Since you already activate this card when you summon it, you get to target this. Uh, you basically get to target the Bistio, Drune Worm, and the Grave and add it to your hand. Really, really difficult to play out, but this is your, your end board right here. You have Spear Dragon, Negate Graveyard, Tag Out into Moonlight, two Negates. You're playing in Pendulum, this is three. Three interruptions built in one. Now you got a whole part here, four Negates. All right, guys, you got Heretic Seal, five Negates. IP into Unicorn, 6 Negates, 7 Negates off Branded Beast, the pop, uh, which is really, really good. And this card, if a Light or Dark Dragon is banished, except during the damage step, you can try one of those monsters, place the bon monster at the bottom of the deck, and you draw a card, uh, which is really good. And you have, uh, how much is that? 3, 4, 7, so 7 Negates. So this right here is 7 Negates right here. 8, 9... Nine negates, guys. Wait, actually, not nine negates. Ten negates. Ten interruptions. Because if you summon Drune Worm and you use Branded Beast to send Drune Worm, this will trigger to send another card to the graveyard. So this card is ten interruptions. This board gave us ten interruptions, guys. Holy smokes, guys. Yo, this deck is crazy. And also, you have Bistio Lubelion as well. Yo, the follow ups are insane. You guys, this deck is cracked. This deck is so good. Wow, it's so fun, man. Holy smokes. Misted made this whole entire deck like this. This is crazy, bro. And this is your ultimate smile, by the way, which is really, really good. Wow. This is a really unique board. I like it. I like it. I like the way this works. I think it's really, really fun. Let me know your thoughts about this combo in the comments section below. And I know you just seen me live streaming this deck very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And uh, check out the more combos, uh, in-depth combos you guys can do with this deck in the comments section below. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And this is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam signing out. Alright guys, peace.